I'm the only one? I'm saluting. <laughs> right, yeah. I'm saluting. I'm saluting okay. IRL. All right. Fuck yeah. Fuck yeah. I really am. Same. All right. That was fun. Sweet. Thanks for inviting me, and I'll, I'll see you next time. Yeah. Thanks for playing. All right. Absolutely. Catch you, catch you later. Goodbye. Goodbye. All right, guys. For the VOD boys that are watching this that are confused, we had a huge fucking lag moment. Huge lag moment. And uh, we had to restart. It was bad. So then we decided we would end. Yeah, that was really weird. I don't know if that was a memory leak or a computer issue. I don't know, guys. What that was. Um, one second. I'm trying to think. I might, I might end, but I also, I don't know, dude. I don't know. Maybe too much VRAM being used because the settings were being too high. Nah, I don't, I don't think it was. I don't think it was that. I don't think. Just a little longer. We could chill. Chill. Someone said that a guy made a video where I was mentioned and he said I found you because the Quiznor mentioned you. But I don't know if I am finding the Quiznor. I looked it up. I don't I don't see it. Here, I'll switch to just chatting. I'll switch to just chatting. Someone said that in the intro. Check the fan art channel on Discord. What's in the fan art channel? Oh shit, what the hell? This is what it looked like by the end of my last animation. Someone made 3D Please. art. Sweet, dude. Sweet! Sweet! It's an animation? I thought you were talking about the Quiznor thing. Yeah, Katanimus is fucking popping off all the time in that channel. Are we making up the missing one hour intro part? That would be nice. That would be kind of nice. But honestly, dude, that kind of, that lag... And that game kind of took me out of it. It was fun, but that game is a lot, uh, honestly. Like, I don't know what the fuck goes on in that game half the time, some of those days. It was brutal today. So I don't know. I don't know, dude, we gotta do a fucking chill chat stream soon, where we just talk, and we play whatever. Like, like anything. Anything ever. Hmm. Oh, Quiznor's an animation that's higher in the chat. What? What? Oh, dude! Fan animation of Buck Idol. Okay, I don't think I can watch this right now, really. It's also eight minutes, which I, I normally wouldn't watch a fan art thing for eight minutes, but I would watch this off stream. <laughs> Even orc massage. What are you guys talking about? A orc massage? No, not no, 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 no. When I say anything, I'm not talking about orc massage, dude. I'm just talking about games, you know? Just some games. I was talking with people. I play. Listen, chat. This channel, it's gonna be feeling a little bit different. I think. I really am gonna try to take the channel in a different direction a little bit, just by playing some different type of games than normal. It's not always just gonna be like. Demo streams and stuff like that. There will still be demo streams, but whenever CSGO releases Source 2, I'm gonna try to get a group to play like competitive shooters and stuff on stream. Because I play games like that all the time off stream, but I don't stream them. And whenever I used to stream them, it was just on like Test LinkedIn. And I think it'd be fun uh, social dynamic and stuff like that. And also just fun to game. Just fun to game, man. But uh, I think it'd be good content. So I wanna do that. Uh, no, not Tarkov. Not Tarkov. There was a Mortuary Assistant update, and I hear they added extra endings that was good. He was actually really good. Yeah, play what you want. Yeah, I just, uh, I think... Yeah, it'd be good, because most of my friends nowadays just go live and play the games they would play anyways, which is kind of what I want to do, too. Rust stream? <laughs> no. <laughs> no, 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 not Rust stream. No Rust stream. I don't think I'll ever play Public Rust again on stream. It was fun, the first Rust stream. The second Rust stream was brutal, but it was still good. It's just too risky. It's too risky, dude. If it was a private Rust server or like a content Rust server, yeah. But if it's, um, I mean, yeah, maybe. But if it's, uh, if it's just Public Rust, I don't think I can do that, man. I don't think I can, I don't think I can do that. It's kind of a fucking gamble. 
Honestly, the vibes of you actually passionate about the gameplay of the games on Tesla and you play, you could tell it was fun and different. Dude, playing Mordow. Oh my god. <laughs> you guys know about Mordow. Come on. <laughs> yeah, dude. Mordow was fucking. God, what an amazing fucking game. What an amazing game. Mordow's server sucks now. We don't even need to talk about it. I, already, I said the same thing last stream, and I've said it fucking 15 streams before that, dude. I, I've talked about how Mordow's crashed and burned, and it's dead. Just, it was a good time while it lasted, was all. Shift 2? I would play Shift 2 if I got an update. Or if anyone played that game, ever. But, uh, you know, maybe. Maybe. I really need to be better at playing games when they launch, dude. Because I feel like that's prime time to actually play things. Um, that'd be fine. That'd be fine. Baldur's Gate? I don't think I'd stream Baldur's Gate. I don't think anyone would give it a chance to watch. Or like, uh, it also just wouldn't really be a really... Maybe if I got my... Ch if I got chat used to New Vegas on stream. But I feel like if I, I, if I played it before actually beating the game off stream, then I would have no clue what to make to do to make it interesting. Like I could I could run somewhere interesting or like do something interesting, but uh, I wouldn't really know what to do unless I maybe played a bit more of the game off stream because I I never beat Fall of New Vegas, so I don't know. The point of it is it's not interesting. The point of what? New Vegas? I think New Vegas is interesting. I like New Vegas, dude. Right now. Right now where I'm at, dude, in New Vegas, is I'm deciding if I'm gonna sign with the NCR or the Powder Gangers. Yeah, Dark and Darker, I'll play. I'll play Dark and Darker. Um, I don't know. Is it really back? Like, real? Let's play Dark and Darker tomorrow. If we can buy it. Maybe. Maybe. Tomorrow I gotta... I think I gotta... Dude, if I... I might go live tomorrow. I think it's fake? What do you mean you think it's fake? You think that they just... Hmm. I was gonna do... I was gonna fucking mow the lawn tomorrow, dude. I gotta mow my lawn. I hate mowing the lawn, dude. It's on darkanddarker.com. Driven's playing right now. I know people are playing it, dude. I mean, I know it's out. I just don't know. What do you mean if we could buy it? I think we could buy it. Isn't it like 20? I thought it was like 35 bucks now, though. It's $35 off Steam. Yeah. yeah I mean, it's a good game. Did they add anything? Outside of the Warlock? There was like a new map, wasn't, wasn't there? Like outside? Cause that could be cool. 12 hour lawn mowing stream. Capitalize on boring tw- You guys would not watch me mow my lawn first of all. Second of all, I wouldn't- I'd sweat all over the fucking camera, dude. It, I'm gonna melt when I go to mow my lawn. I'm gonna fucking melt. The price should be 20. Yeah, I don't think it's a $35 game, dude. I think it's a good game, but $35 is a little steep. Just a wee bit. Let's check SteamDB. Is there anything? Baldur's Gate. Shadow Warrior 2? Dude, I remember playing Shadow Warrior 2 ages ago. Damn. Why's that up there? Atomic Heart? Did Atomic Heart fucking bomb? Time Splitters 2? Dude, you made me think of Time Shift, that X that old Xbox game. We can like blow people up and you like freeze time and you can shoot them a bunch. Missed that shit. DLC came out recently? Oh. Time Crisis though? Time Crisis is only an arcade game, I thought. But damn, Time Crisis. You saw the Wolf Among Us 2 trailer, right? No. No, I saw it was announced a while ago, but I didn't see the, uh, the Wolf Among Us gameplay. Right. There's arcade game emulators. 
damn, dude. We gotta find something fun. Otherwise, I'm gonna be a fucking... I'm gonna be just a... I'm gonna be just a fucking... I don't even know what I'm gonna stream. We're literally just gonna watch YouTube videos for the stream, dude. We'll just watch. I'll just react. I don't care, dude. I don't care if people hate reactors. I'll react. I'll be the villain. Do you want to escape the back rooms? Oh yeah, dude, escape the back rooms. <laughs> what? <laughs> yeah, dude, I don't know what people hate. I didn't really read the drama, but I know that people were mad at reactors, but who, who cares? <laughs> I do not, I don't know if I'm just a bad guy, dude. I do not, I don't know if, I, I don't think I care. But maybe I just, um, actually no, I just don't care. They mad. Whoa! React to reactions of reactors reacting. Dude, we should. I don't think anyone I um, am friends with really reacts, though, very often. Most people are game streamers. Most people game. Period. Gamers, period. Yeah. Who knows? There's tons of street food videos we could just be watching. Eat some food. Fucking... Sit down, watch some food videos, play a game in between. Oh, Do we get start off the stream with reacting and then find the game of the day? If it's- games have just felt a little dry lately, honestly. React to the- to hacker videos? Dude, that scammer video I watched yesterday was crazy. This guy literally is like a hardcore scammer and he like went into a bank and took out like $10,000 of someone else's money. It was crazy. And this guy was just like recording him. I mean, I know that who this dude is. Yeah, the Tommy G video. Yeah, that one. It was actually fucking insane. Downtime on the gaming market? That's just how it is. Dude, I cannot tell you. I think all streamers feel like this. They're like, oh man, there's nothing to stream. There's nothing to do. I don't know if I'm gonna be able to stay a streamer. <laughs> And then the next month, it's like, Whoa! <laughs> we got this to play, we got this to play, we got this to play! Oh, fuck, bro, I might have to start looking for a job. And then it's like, Yo! <laughs> Darker Dark is back, baby! <laughs> Fucking hell yeah, baby! Like, it's just so volatile, dude. Reacting, reacting would be a good uh, thing to maybe implement back into the, into the stream. We could chill just... I think people just want to stream, you know? I don't even think it fucking matters, dude. I don't even think it fucking matters. I, I have a history. If you guys are watching for a while, you know that back then my streams used to always be like really crazy. But like nowadays, I uh, try not to care about that so much. I mostly, we chill. We're just chilling. We should do a reaction of stream of nuclear reactors one day. Dude. I'm pretty sure that there's like a bunch of people that try to... Have you... The new John Wilson is... You should just watch the new How To with John Wilson. I don't know. I don't know, dude. I don't want to spoil. But people like to live in reactors. Uh, like nuclear... Uh, not nuclear reactors, but nuclear... Uh, like missile silos and bunkers. There's a lot of those fucking people. I've seen it, Poo Poo Fart. I've seen... They're cheap? How much does a fucking missile silo cost? <gasps> God. A missile silo is cheap? <laughs> Lack 20. <laughs> how do you even buy a fucking... How much does a missile silo cost to live in? You are tired of living above ground and having windows. Well, now you don't have to. A converted Atlas F missile silo in York, Nebraska, once home to a thermonuclear warhead, is on the market for $550,000. A blast from the past and built to last per the listing. Wow, dude, only $550,000 for a Cold War era missile silo in Nebraska. Wow, dude, only $550,000. <laughs> That's actually kind of- Okay, I'm joking about Zane only. And you said what a steal, but that's actually what houses are like worth out here. Where I'm current- Like on the- Man, they look- I feel like that's not far off. These motherfuckers could be living in missile silos. 
Are there a lot of bunkers in, in Utah? Because it, it's like far away from a lot of the main targets. Probably cozy in there though. I'm pretty sure they're really tall up to high up. So like if they're not renovated, you can like drop and fall really f like to your death. I'm pretty sure. Uh, you could plummet, dude. Damn, dude, imagine streaming in a fucking missile silo. You wake up, you got your VR room, you got your kitchen, you got your fucking computer, that's all you need, man. I wonder if you can open it. You can open the lid. I put chat, I put a camera on a string and I would lower you guys to see how deep it goes. That'd be good. Have you played Shipbreaker? No, but I've heard of it. Dude, someone... I did used to play a ton of FTL, Faster Than Light. That was like one of the main games I streamed when I first started, before I met Kraken and everyone. And, uh, dude, that game... That game used to be so fucking fun, and someone listed a crazy mod for it in, uh, Game Suggestions the other day. But I, I don't think I'm gonna play it on stream, because last time I played that on stream, it was awful. Like, I just... it was just... it flopped hard. No poop mod in, uh, FTL. No, no, no. I wonder how the soundproofing is in one of those things. I don't think anyone's gonna hear you in a fucking missile so Actually, dude, I wonder how the internet would be. Ooh, the internet would be, uh... an issue. Probably. Probably not good. Just run Ethernet? Dude, Ethernet's hard, though, because you would- I mean... How are you gonna drill? run an ethernet cord like are you gonna drill through a missile silo when i my first time using ethernet dude the comcast was fucking me i was on i was really young too i was like super young and comcast was just ruining my connection and i was lagging every 15 seconds and i was like 15 years old and i was lagging every 15 seconds and i was like this can't happen man i i can't game at all i thought it was like i could have quit gaming there on pc that could have been it dude i could have been like fuck this shit i don't think i would have but anyways TF2 was lagging like crazy, and then we had to route Ethernet through my attic, through my closet, and drill a hole through the attic into my closet, route it behind my desk, and then plug it in, and it changed the fucking game. It was actually crazy. Just open the silo door and drop the Ethernet cable in. I think that there's roofs between the... between the... the silo and the ceilings. Wouldn't there be roofs? Roofs? Wait, cells are connected to the US grid when operational. There is outside connection somewhere. That guy lives in a fucking silo. That guy's living in a silo. Man. Yeah, I'll try I'll try to find stuff to get uh to stream. Fun just bunch of stuff. I do have a list of games. But I just don't know, dude. I just don't know. I miss just kinda going live every day. I remember in April, I think, of 2018, I used to stream, like, this often, that I, as often as I've been streaming, and I, like, decided I'm just gonna stream, like, most days, and it really changed the game. It was, it changed the fucking game. It was like, I put, I just forced myself to go live, and then it's, like, worth. You know? It was fucking worth it, dude. And most of those days, we didn't even have a game to stream. We just kinda, we just kinda hopped around looking for stuff. What about doing a few days on, a few days off? Yeah, maybe. I really just try to take, like... I really don't need to take days off. I just don't know what to stream a lot of the days. You think you're gonna try Wild RP or not? Mm, it looks fun, but nah. I'll probably put in an application for next time, but... It, the thing is, dude, if I if I wanted to play Wild RP, I would have to schedule an interview, and by the time I schedule an interview, let's not even lie, that shit's gonna be dead. It's just gonna be dead like every other RP server, man. It's, it's, it is what it is, you know? But if I do that, then I'll be there for next time. So. Yeah, the new server <laughs> might be coming real soon. Actually, though, dude, if that new server comes soon, I would actually play on that. I'd play on the new one. I thought about playing on NoPixel the other day, but then I went, no. <laughs> I just don't. I don't know if I want to get back in. I don't even know if the new server comes out, I might play on it, dude, but I really don't even know if I'm going to play GTRP again for a while. 
GTRP is kind of a rough spot to put your channel as a variety streamer because then people get hooked to all the GTRP streams. They, I'm just gonna be real. They get hooked to the ones that you're around and they're just gonna go watch them play GTRP instead of watching you play variety. And also, dude, variety's just like, it, it's just less toxic of viewership. I feel like the GTRP viewership, it's not per se like toxic all the time in my experience. I know it is for other people. But it's just like, um, they want GTRP and they ask about it constantly, so if you dip your foot in that puddle, expect your foot to be wet for a bit, is what I'm trying to say, you know what I mean? Like, uh, where's Dan Dan? <laughs> yeah, where's Dan Dan, dude? That's, uh, I can't, I got that shit for like a month after I quit NoPixel. Two months, dude! Like, after I just, I, I took a break, I just, I just got questions about Dan Dan. I always tell them that he's dead. I'm like, <laughs> you didn't hear? <laughs> but I, uh, dude, I can't. <laughs> they don't go away, man. They don't fucking go away. But I don't know. I still like it. I still like it. But I mainly, the main reason I like GTA is because I get to play with friends, but mainly just have something to stream, you know? Which is great. I think that's that, that's really my main issue with streaming is I don't always have something to go live with. So I'm not a very consistent guy. I ain't very, I ain't been very consistent. Dude, it's so weird too. Whenever I go consistent mode, I my mood gets boosted. I'm fucking mood boost. At least the times I have. There's a Steam Wheel program that you can use to randomize games in your library. You want me to spin a wheel to play the games for the time? <laughs> Oh my god, Wheel Stream 2.0. Oh! When's the next VR stream? I saw this rat game that Habby posted. It looked kind of fucking good. It looked kind of fucking good. Are you gonna perma Ron properly, or are we just leaving the GTA void? I don't know who I'll ever perma, dude. I think every a lot of people say they'll perma a character, but never will, and I'm kind of in the same boat. Why don't you stream Overwatch? Alone. <laughs> That's really it. Yo, Garbobalon! What, what's up, man? Welcome, dude. Yeah, Overwatch is just kind of like, I'm playing it to fill the void of silence right now, alright? It's just kind of a game I'm literally launching just to uh, have something to play, because I'm like, you know, I need to do something. I need to do fucking something. I think. CSGO Source 2 is whenever we're actually gonna get a group of people and we're we're gonna play that and I'm at we'll actually play a competitive shooter multiple days in a row preferably like a month straight or like a week straight at least and we'll, we'll have to look forward to like our comp rating and stuff like that dude and it's actually gonna have like a goal which is good that's all I want man that's all I want you know I've been in the pits of Valorant for years! I've been in the pit for too long, dude. I gotta hoist myself out of that shit. Dude, Overwatch 2, the new character's actually kinda cool. The new character, uh, the pool character, Life Weaver. Kinda like him. But I know a lot of people hate them, I think. I don't know. You don't like Ramatra? I think he's okay. I really don't know the... I don't know, dude. I'm always hesitant to say who I like or don't like, because I don't know that much about Overwatch in terms of, uh... anything. <laughs> like, I don't know who the fuck I'm supposed to be shooting when I play on a character. I feel like I need... I need a group for guidance, too. So I can improve, I guess. I don't know. Yeah, I have to unlock Ramatra still. But yeah, mainly just a game to fill the void. Of silence. I think we could- Dude, I think we could bring the stream back to being like free ball in it. I think that's something we could do like the old days. But the difference is, we used to have Jeroid around and Jeroid was like my one friend that like Steam calls me out of nowhere. Like, naturally. He was, uh, you know? So I don't see him super often, but uh... I got used to that dynamic around, but, you know, 
can always get like, I can always just message people. I just need to be better at messaging people. Hey, Pishti. Losing friends sucks. I feel like I didn't lose. Jerry's still my friend. He's just been, uh, he's a, he's a real life. He's busy. I need to message him. What time is it over there? 8 p.m. Late. Late. Yeah, I don't think I lost friends. No. That's not what I was, that's not what I'm saying. I just don't see him around. Oh my god, FJ. Dude, I caught up with the people I used to play Halo with in my in, that I went to school with like uh two years ago and we played we had like Halo nights for a little bit and we all caught up. It's cra it was crazy. None of them have kids. One of them's one of the guys, I don't know this guy that well, but he's fucking married and I went to high school with him. I think I got married like years ago though. It's just kinda wild. Have friends. I need to cool. I don't even know. Who knows, man? Who knows? I need to try some new games, too. Redemption Jim Sharpie? We were just talking about that. People played Wild RP, but I feel like if I made an app, I wouldn't get it in this time around, so I'll make one for next time, but I'm not really gonna play wild RP this time, even though it looks kind of fun. RP is a slippery slope, man. Yeah, Charborg mentioned wanting to do Halo Custom Nights. When I mentioned it in here, he was like, I've been wanting to do a night like that. Because he was in the chat when I said it. He also mentioned wanting to do a wheel stream when I was doing my wheel, when I was talking about the wheel. Man, the wheel, the wheel is fucking good. I, w I would recommend a wheel to anybody. Wheel changed, wheel changed gaming for me. It's pretty fun though. Slippery slopes are fun though, you slide and shit. Yeah, I like RP, but I'm gonna give it some time. Maybe I'll play the new server if it comes out, but uh, really, really I just think I'm just looking to be an active streamer again, dude. I kind of... I think we just need to, dude, actually think we just need to try a week of being at, like crazy active. Or, or just a week where we start off with reaction and we just look at games and then we're like, yeah, well, let's try this. <laughs> let's just try this. Minecraft? No, no. Minecraft? Minecraft fun, but Minecraft ain't, has been, Minecraft ain't been hidden for me. I'll just say it, dude. I haven't played Minecraft in like over a year. Uh, but I, you know, I just, it's not been hidden for me. I think I need a mod or something to spice it up. Something. Anywho. Anyway. Yeah, we really just need, dude, we need more nights with friends. That's really it, dude. I just need to message more people. Because I don't know about you guys, but I'm fucking trash at messaging people. So I gotta, I've been good at it with Sput and Bed, though. Messaging them for Outlast has been easy, but I need to, like, just message people. I just got fucking message people. Nah, Zomboid's gotta wait for build 42, I think. I think Dark and Darker, and then, uh, Reaction, and then just the Demo Nights and Gaming, and stuff like that, we just keep going, and then it's gonna be good, and I think we'll just get through this rough patch and everything will go back to normal. I think it'll be all fine. But I also think that I should go. I should probably just head out. So... I'm thinking I'll catch you guys later, all right? Sorry about the the weird fucking ending that happened with the uh, uh with Outlast. I don't know what happened there. I I wonder if it's a memory leak. I fucking hope it's a memory leak. If that was my computer, dude, maybe I'll never be back again. Maybe it was fucking blow up. Yeah, we were doing Barotrauma nights, but then they were like, "Let's get mods," and no one ever found mods. So. I don't, and then like the day would come up when we were supposed to play it, and they were like, all right, we down for today? <laughs> it's like, what? 
It was a little fucking unprepped. I think if it had a good mod though to play, we would all get back on it, but I think everyone feels the same. But, yeah. yeah we'll see, we'll see. We'll fucking see. Anyways. You guys take care, take care of yourselves, all that shit. Uh, I'm gonna get up, and I'm gonna go eat some food, and I'm also gonna maybe drink some water. It's gonna be awesome. Alright, anyways, I'll be back, like, maybe tomorrow or the next day, okay? Probably. If not, then sometime real soon. Alright. Good night, guys, good night. Uh, better stuff soon, better stuff soon, okay? I promise, real, real.